This video is to show you how to complete the required assignments for the Computer Tools chapter of the Writing Workshop website. I'm going to show you how you can log into your LCJ Mail account, go to Google Drive, and use Google Docs so that you can complete assignments required in this class. Now, in this chapter, I ask you to do three things. Required assignment number one, required assignment number two, and required assignment number three. So I'm going to go through the steps of these three assignments so that you can see what they're like. The first assignment is fairly simple. It's just to log in to LCJ Mail. You may have already done this already. So I'm going to go to Firefox and I'm going to sign in to a completely new account that I've created just so I can show you uh, how to do it. You can go to any Google login page, uh, go to gmail.com, or you can go to the login page for LCJ Mail. Put your complete email address. Uh, so your email address should contain your username, then the at mark, and then japan.lakeland.edu. And then type in the password for your account and then sign in. Now, if this is the first time that you've ever signed into your account, then you'll see this message here. If you see this message, just say, I accept and continue to my account. When you first log in, this is what your email account should look like. Just a couple of emails from the Gmail team, and that's about it. That's really all that's required for the required assignment number one. Very simple. Just log into your LCJ Mail account. Now, the next required assignment, number two, requires you to go to Google Drive. Now, in order to get there, you have to go up to the top right corner, and amongst all of these icons, there's one that has a grid of nine little squares. This is a Google Apps uh, icon. If you click on that, you'll see a menu pop up and one of the choices will be for Google Drive. Go ahead and click on that. This should create a new window or tab with your drive here. You might see this tutorial. If you do, just go ahead and dismiss it, or if you want, you can read it. But in the end, this is what you should see. Notice that in the middle, there is nothing here, just a notification. But on the left-hand side, there are a couple of, of important points. The first one is this big red button called New. If you click on that, you'll see that you have some choices here. We'll take a look at those later. And then right below that, there is an icon for My Drive. Notice that it's red right now. Whenever you've, uh, you've selected something, it turns red. So if My Drive is red, that means that you're looking at your drive right now. Now this is an online drive. This is online storage. It's often called the cloud. This is where you can put files and they'll be a part of your LCJ Mail account and you can access them at any time. Now there's nothing here right now, so let's begin by creating a new folder. You wanna go over to the left, click on new and choose folder. You'll have to give the folder a name the name I'd like you to choose is your first name and then GEN100. So in my case, it would be Luis, a space, hyphen, space, and then GEN100. You should use whatever your first name is as well. Once you've done that, click on Create, and now you should see that a folder is created. There's a couple different kinds of view. This is more of a rectangle view. Up in the top right hand corner, you can switch between that and a list view. So this is the grid view, list view. So I like the list view myself, but you can choose whatever you like. But now you can see inside your drive, you've got a folder. Notice that over on the left, the My Drive has a little triangle next to it. If you click on that, you'll be able to see a list of folders that are in your drive. If you click on that, it'll go inside that folder. Click on My Drive again, and you'll be able to see your drive, just like that. 
So congratulations, you've made your first folder, but now I need you to take one more step for the required assignment number two, and that is to share this folder. So what you wanna do is that you wanna right click on this folder that you just made. When you right click on it, you'll see a pop-up menu and one of the items will be share. You'll want to click on share. Now this allows you to share it with other people and in this case, you're going to share it with me. So where it says people and enter names, you wanna type my name. You should see my full email address pop up after you type just a couple of letters. You can hit enter or click on that address and you'll see that I've been added. Make sure that I am able to edit, not just view. And then add a note which says who you are and what this is. So uh, say for example, uh, hello, uh, this is, put your name, uh, and this is my shared folder. There we go. Once you've done that, click send. Now what'll happen is that I'll receive a notification and I'll be able to see what's in your folder. So if I go to my Google Drive and if I go to my shared column here, you'll notice that I get this one right here, uh, Luis GEN100, and that's a shared folder. Uh, so uh, I can then open that up and I can see what's inside of it. So now that you've shared it, I can actually see everything that you've done. And that's the end of the required assignment number two. Now there's one more thing I'd like you to do, and that is to use Google Docs and to share a Google Docs document with me. So the way to do this is back in your, uh, back in your account, in the drive, go to new and choose Google Docs. Once again, this will open up a new tab or window, but this time you'll see that it opens up into something that looks similar to Microsoft Word or some other word processor. So this is really an, a, a document where you can type whatever document you're writing. You can write essays, you can do assignments here. And one of the great features about this is that it, it saves all of your changes immediately after you type them in. So every few seconds, it'll save anything that you do. So you never have to save the file. It's always saving what it is that you do. And it even remembers things that you did in the past. So you can take a look at previous versions that you might have thought you'd lost. You can take a look at those and see what they were about. But right now, we're not going to do that. Right now, I just want you to do a couple things. First of all, what I'd like you to do is to type in the document, my name is, and then type your name. Uh, you can type your full name. Uh, and I can use Google Docs. That's all. I just want you to type that one sentence. It should identify you. And then I need you to change the title of the document. Right now it's an untitled document. If you click there, it might show you this kind of, of text. Just get rid of that. And instead, give it the name your name, and then a space, and then test number one. That's it. Once you finish, you can just click away, and that will now be the name of the document. Now, once again, all changes are saved automatically after just a few seconds. So what you can do is that you can actually close this tab or window, and you'll notice that, hey, there's your document. Now the next step is to share this document with me. Now you could just individually share each document with me every time, but there's a much easier way. You see this folder right here, it has the little, uh, little picture of a person on it. Remember, you shared this folder with me. So anything that you put into this folder will automatically be shared with me. So I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna grab it just like, a, just like I would an icon on my desktop and I'm gonna drop it into my shared folder. And now it's gonna give me a dialog box saying, are you sure? Because this is gonna be shared. So click okay and there you go. Now, if you go into the Luis folder, 
you'll notice that you can see your document right here. I'm back in my drive. Here's the shared folder and there's my document. So it's still there. You can still access it. You can still open it up. You can still change it and work on it, whatever you want to do. Uh, but for right now, it's just saved in that shared folder. So if I go back to my account uh, on, uh, on LCJ Mail, this is, this is uh, my account. I'll see your shared folder. And if I open it up, there is the document that you just made. And that is the homework assignment, uh, the required assignment number three. So I want you to take these three steps that I've just shown you uh, so that you can know how to use your LCJ Mail account, you know how to access Google Drive, and you know how to make a very simple uh, Google Docs document and then share it with me. Uh, once you've done this, I should be able to see your results and that'll be the end of the homework assignment. Of course, we'll learn much more about Google Docs in the future from now. But for now, that's it.